Today on San Diego Living, find out why your summer cold is not really a cold at all and learn how to treat the symptoms that make you feel sick. Plus, the queen of Boogie Woogie performing live right here. But first, this woman is not afraid to reveal her age because you won't believe her. A 56-year-old fitness warrior shares the snacks that she eats to keep her in such great shape right now on San Diego Living. She didn't get serious about fitness until she was in her 40s. Now, this 58-year-old is winning top awards in bodybuilding and bikini championships. And in my next life, I would really love to come back with her body. Master trainer and fitness warrior Wendy Ida talking healthy snacks for busy folks. I bow down to you, fitness warrior. <laughs> Before we get into this, just a quick, quick backstory. You. Went into the gym at 42. You were kind of doing things haphazardly. Tell me about the defining moment where you said, "You know what? I want to. I want to get into shape." Oh my gosh! It was. I term it my angel. My angel came into my life. My angel was a personal trainer, and it changed my life completely. I was going into the gym just haphazardly, just like anybody else, thinking a little class here and there was going to do the trick, and unbeknownst to me. This gentleman started training me, and I, it, it was the rest is history. You have two children. They're grown now. You were a size 12 most of your life, gained 50 pounds beyond that, and now you are a size 4, yeah. really defying all odds. Yeah, yeah. I am ecstatic and amazed with all this. That changed my entire life, not just my body. And I used to think that, just like a lot of other women, that weights were for men. And all of this other stuff that we hear on TV all the time uh, is, was just a fantasy. Yeah. And I found out that at 42, when I was able to just start getting into fitness, and after that first day, I went into it and went full-blown to learn about everything I could about not only the body, but about nutrition, because it was just amazing. Well, if you're at home saying, I will have what she's having, <laughs> we're going to give you that menu. So you brought in some healthy snacks, because yes. like you, all of us are so busy, and we may grab things from time to time that just don't fuel our bodies in the right way. Yes. Can you kind of educate us in will, really what helped transform your life and, and what we can use to do the same? Well, just like all of you, I was eating anything and everything. And I found out that this busy, stressful lifestyle was really tearing me down. Mm. And so what I started doing, here, here's the biggest thing about this, and the biggest thing, uh, mistakes that people make is not planning. Proper planning is key. So, but the other key thing is to do things slowly. slowly. You cannot change your whole <laughs> yeah. lifestyle all of a sudden. So speaking of proper planning, let's give people some ideas on specific foods they can plan to take with them throughout their day. Okay. So first of all, we have oatmeal. Oatmeal is very energizing. It will last you a long time. It releases slowly, and it's good for working out. You know, in the morning, with my oatmeal, which is an, a really good carb to have, I like to have some, um, some also some blueberries. Also, I like to put protein in my oatmeal. Mm -hmm. And you can have even meat from the night before, like some chicken or something that you want to have with it. The important thing is you want to have carb and a protein carb and together. Protein. Fruit. And how, how do you work that into your daily nutrition? You know, these things I like to have. Well, the lemon, first of all, I like to put in my water. Mm -hmm. Water is also energizing, believe it or not. There's a whole lot of things that you can have, but this is the very basic. I like the, the principle of keep it simple, silly. Okay, so this is a snack. This is a snack. You can have some blueberries as a snack. Also, to keep in your car, you want to have some protein bars, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And um, 
almonds. You, I always like to throw those in. And for another little snack, I like to wrap up um, an egg white with a little spinach here. So I put some, take some egg whites, wrap it in a little spinach, and throw a little, a few almonds in there. That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds so yeah. good. I think a mistake that some people might also make, and myself included, portion size. Because what I have heard before, and, and please educate me, yeah. you want to go in and maybe take a handful of almonds, and that's your snack. Maybe not eat half the bag. Absolutely. <laughs> Which I've That's been a really of. good point. I, I, I know some people who do that. They take a good thing and they go for it. And then you have to realize that almonds are very fatty. They're good for you, mm -hmm. but they're fatty. Also, what I like as a little snack is taking some um, of these rice cakes mm -hmm. with a little peanut butter. Mm. Again, not too much. Some foods I really love is a banana. Bananas. Perhaps, and I love peanut butter on that too. Okay. Banana, well, by the way, is a sexy food. Oh, yeah, hey, it is I sexy. Love it. It's yeah. a sexy food. Mm -hmm. well, I wish we had more time, but we're going to have you come back and you're going to do some okay. exercises for us in the future. Yeah. And you have a beautiful book that is coming out the beginning of the year. I love the title. Give us a shout out of the title. Okay. So it's Take Back Your Life, Wendy Eda's No Nonsense Approach to Health, Fitness, and Looking Good Naked. Uh, looking Good Naked. That's what I wanted you to say. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Mark Bailey's like, woohoo. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank your you. Your website is linked to our website, and we'll connect all of you if you want to work with Wendy in a personal training capacity or get some nutritional advice or anything like that. You go, girl. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank what you. you think is a summer cold is probably not a cold at all. We'll explain what is making you feel sick when San Diego Living comes right back.